Hello everyone, just want to do a quick and brief video on motorcycle wiring diagrams. Um, I'm just going to quickly start with this black and white diagram here before we move on to a coloured diagram. Um, there isn't really any difference when it comes to these apart from how you look at it. You haven't got colours on your screen. You've just got black. Um, so the way to define what colour cable is what is you have these little markers here which is this one you'll see is GN which is on the negative side of your battery and this one is R slash W which is on the positive side of your battery so if we go over to this key here you'll see that GN means green so this cable is green and R means red W means white which means that this cable is red and white and you see it will go into the fuse and come out as a red cable now the only other difference as well is that you've got these little dots here and what these little dots represent is when the cables basically split off um, to somewhere else because you've got all these black cables which are all the same you know crossing over each other and whatever else if you didn't have these little dots it would be very hard to tell you know what cable goes into what so all these dots represent is that you've got red coming down here and it goes into this little dot so this little dot if you go down here you'll see that that cable is also red okay so that cable splits off and goes down there and then it also continues on the path it was on before and goes over here so it's that simple okay so here is our colored diagram uh, this one is off a CBF125 so what I want to cover on here is basically following this diagram what to look for so let's start off with the battery because it's the easiest so over here you've got your battery this side here which is your negative terminal that is ground to the frame this side over here is your positive terminal so this is where your power goes out to your motorcycle now you might notice this over here this is where the power also goes out to your starter motor so when you push your start switch this is where it connects and pushes power from the battery to spin your start motor this here is your main fuse in this case it's a 15 amp this can vary between motorcycles so if we follow this cable from the main fuse down here you'll see that it actually splits off into two red cables so this is the one we're going to follow here is this one on the left hand side so this cable here coming from your battery if we follow that over we can see that it goes up to your ignition switch so this is where you put your key in, you turn your key and the power comes on so when you turn your key these two points here connect together so what that basically means is turn your key and the power jumps from this red cable and goes into this black and red cable so now your bike's got power as long as your fuse isn't blown your bike has power so if we follow this black and red cable over here we'll see you've got another little fuse box so this here you've got a 10 amp fuse on the left 10 amp fuse on the right so again you'll see it goes into the 10 amp fuse comes out and it changes color so for this side it's black and for this side it changes into blue and black now we follow this over and we'll see this black cable actually controls all of our um, lights and switches so you see it goes into our front stop switch and our rear stop switch which both come down and go into the same cable so how this works when you pull in your front lever on your motorcycle which is your front brake the black cable connects with this yellow and green 
that yellow and green cable if you follow it down that activates your tail and stop light so simple stuff I don't want to go too far into it I will mention that obviously green is earth so this is actually attached to your motorcycle frame but an example of what you can use um, diagrams like this for is that recently we've actually had a project um, with a CBF engine inside that motorcycle and for what we were doing we wanted to actually put a kill switch on the bike well the kill switch with a bike like this because it is fuel injected we needed it to turn off the um, the motorcycle and turn off the fuel pump as well so the easiest way to look so going through bundle of cabling was to look at this diagram and we found down here that you have the injector here and you also had the fuel pump over here and the coil there which is what controls the spark in your motorcycle was also part of this blue and black cable so what we did was because it was not the original engine for that motorcycle we removed a tilt sensor so normally when the bike falls over it would shut the engine off we replaced it with having a simple handlebar kill switch and we tapped into this cable here so basically it ran through the subfuse out here and then a kill switch went in between it so it's like a handlebar switch so one we basically cut this cable one side went into one side of the switch and the other side went to the other side of the switch much the same how these work so the switch has to be on to connect the two cables so when you're looking for certain jobs that need to be done or if you want to wire in an aftermarket part like a aftermarket headlight or an aftermarket speedometer something like that this is where you would start and you would follow what cables you need so let's have a look at the speedometer for example you would see with a speedometer that you that you buy online um, hopefully it will come with a set of instructions telling you what cable is what and obviously different bikes different color codes different parts different color codes but you would get a set of instructions and some of those instructions would say things like high beam which we've got here others would say neutral turn signals you might even have a left and a right turn signal so you'd have to look and go well there's only one turn on this so which is left and right which is where you find your colors so you would see that there's two colors coming from here one is orange one is blue so you, if you follow that orange cable you will see orange is the left front turn signal and blue is the right front turn signal this is the same for the back because obviously they have to flash together so certain things like that this is where these diagrams come into play and where it's really helpful to know how to read them um, it is also the same with the black and white diagram that we've got here so if we quickly flip back to this we'll see quite easily bear in mind this is a different bike but if we wanted to find something so neutral warning you'll see that you've got the color codes here the exact same thing if you wanted um, to wire into your turn signals you'll see orange and LT stands for light if we went back to the key it says light and that stands for light blue exact same process so this is really the best way forward instead of jumping straight into a motorcycle if you have a wiring diagram that you have or that you can get quite easily um, this is by far the best way I will cover more on wiring motorcycles hands on on the bikes and what I'll do is as I'm going through it I will show where I'm reading on these wiring diagrams and how I'm finding what cables I need plus show the use of double checking things with a multimeter although majority of these wiring diagrams are accurate you can get the odd one that is just a cable off and that can be enough 
for you to be popping a fuse or something not working and you're sitting there scratching your head because you've gone well I followed the entire wiring diagram what's up so I will cover all of that in future videos very soon because I've got many projects I've got to finish very soon over the winter um, I think we're up to about seven motorcycles at the moment because we do have a storage container that we've kept a few in that we bought in the summer and just haven't got around to doing yet so they will be coming out in the next couple of weeks and bits and bobs will get done um, so thank you very much for watching um, if you notice a link for our website down the bottom you can click on there you'll see a couple of little bits that we do plus our social media um, we're quite a fresh company um, so we're trying to get the name out there a little bit and if I can help along the way with videos and showing people what I do and teaching certain things like this if you're starting from basics I'm hoping maybe I can pass on a little bit of information and help people out service their own bikes and whatever else so thank you very much for watching um, please subscribe if you want to see more and I'll have more content very soon